guess what? I might have been looking into Simon and a possible connection between the Vatican. No, there's a lot of pictures in the Va um, from the Middle Ages of this guy flying around on a ship. You can see it. If you go onto the internet and Google um, spaceships and old paintings, you can see loads of European paintings with UFOs and all that shit in them, yeah, from back in the day. So, in I say these pe the, the, the Philip went down and converted Samaria into Christianity. They left all the pyramids behind. They abandoned the Aztec pyramid, the, Inte the Maya pyramids, because they were Samaria. We call this the the we call the Samaritans. <coughs> or we call them the the, the Maya Maya, but they're not they're actually Samaritans. There's no difference. Same people. Big cultural difference. That's it. Um, same God. Simon and the gang, who assisted a four time and a long time, and there's evidence to say after the interaction with um, Philip and the two apostles, they converted Samaria. Simon said he converted and then said he wanted to buy his way into heaven. He wanted to do indulgences, basically, Catholic indulgences. And that might be where the in the idea of indulgence came from in the Christian church, because it wasn't always there. And then years and years later, the Catholic Church itself launched an invasion against South America. Now, when the two apostles came down preaching and performing miracles, Simon told them, what's the crack way you're doing in the emperor? That's what he said. So he probably done the same to the conquistadors if he was still around, because Simon lived a long time. A long time in the Bible is, not, is, is, is probably hundreds or even thousands of years. And it's basically saying he lived a long... He's not the only person recorded in the Bible to live a long time, so... Some of them are recorded as living as a, naturally as a tell They lived naturally a thousand years at the start before the cities were all built on the idolatry. So that says to me that that because Samaria stopped worshiping Simon and left them, it's it's well documented that one one point in human history the Maya just abandoned everything. She says, "We well, fuck off. We're not having nothing to do with you anymore." And legged it and left all the cities abandoned, but he started off the culture again. So Simon's probably still around. So they fixed up Simon's house now, all of the international community. Simon's Simon's moving back in. And we're all going to war with the abomination that makes desolation. So everybody knows what's everybody knows the future. Anybody who's watching this knows that at some point in the future we have to go to war with the abomination that makes desolation. That's what it says in the Bible. What is the abomination that makes desolation? We don't know. We haven't got a clue. What size is it? I don't know. What's its magic powers? I don't know. Pure evil. But here's the thing. Shortly, the Catholic Church lost, launched its first crusade. So now Simon Simon's in with the Simon probably have that bumping into the Catholic Church. They're negotiating. Catholics are lashing his empire over. He has something to offer. Simon has something to offer. Simon has all the gold in the land. All the people do what he says. And also, Simon has sorcery technology. Proper technology and sorcery. That can fly around and jump in through time and shit like that. Simon can go. Simon's a time bander by the sounds of it. He assisted, see, in Babylon a four time. So, or in Samaria a four time. Samaria.